This video is sponsored by Namira Technologies, your power sports piston and gasket supplier since 2001. They have a huge selection of motocross, ATV, two- and four-stroke applications at prices that'll make you smile all the way to the checkered flag. Go to Namura.com. that's N-A-M-U-R-A.com to see what's up. Hi, I'm Scott Atkins with Pro SX MX Tech. Today I'm going to show you your proper chain adjustment. Um, to get the proper chain tension, um, the easiest way to, to, to do this is, you, as you can see, we've removed the rear shock. And by lifting the swing arm now, you'll be able to see the correct arch of the swing arm and you can feel the chain tension. Do this on any new model that you get. Um, in this case, you can see the chain tension is too loose all the way through the arch. Now next, I'll show you a chain tension that is too tight. Okay, now here's a perfect example of a chain tension that would be too tight. As you lift the swing arm, as you can see, it starts to bind about midway. And if you can see the chain tension now, it is really tight. As you go on past the tension, it starts to get loose again. And then in the middle, too tight, too tight. So as you can see, you want to run your chain as tight as possible without the binding of the swing arm. So now here's an uh, example of the chain tension that is set proper. As you can see, as I lift the swing arm, the chain tension just stays in the middle. And as it goes all the way up, it will get loose. But in the middle, you don't want it too tight. And this is important um, because a lot of times during a moto, um, you, the bike will ride down in the middle part of the stroke. And if that's too tight, um, a lot of times it'll skip off of braking bumps or acceleration bumps and the rear tire will skid out. So this is an example of the proper chain uh, tension. Now we'll put the shock back on and you can refer to one of the earlier videos of how to put suspension back on. And then I'll show you how to measure for the proper chain tension. Now, as you can see, we have the rear shock reinstalled. Again, refer to the earlier video um, to learn how to put the shock back on. Now we have the proper chain adjustment. Now we can take a measurement. I like to use a small steel rule. Go off of the chain slider and you can lightly push down and you can get a measurement. In this case, we have about 15 millimeter. Now you can always refer to that measurement to have the proper chain attention. Um, it, like, again, it's very important. If the chain is too tight, it will cause deflection on acceleration bumps. And if the chain is too loose, it, act it could actually derail um, and also get rocks and more mud and debris under the chain. So it's very important to have the proper chain adjustment. 